Welcome back to another video guys. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Solana and how it could potentially be confirming its bottom due to this pattern. We're going to be exploring that through a news article from newsbtc.com and taking a look at its recent pump of over 9.55% in the last 24 hours. This is big for Solana. You really don't want to miss this one. Thank you for joining me once again. If you are new to the channel, go ahead, show it some support, hit that like, subscribe, and tick that notification bell to stay in tune with my future updates. Today's video, Solana, is absolutely going insane. We can see this massive increase in 24 hour period of 9.54%. But there's something bigger at play here, guys. If we jump onto the hourly, we can see that, so, the daily, sorry, we can see that Solana has a big bottom around this range right now. However, Solana is creating what we call a rounded bottom and we can see it right here. This is potentially telling us that if this pattern is to play out, that Solana could be confirming its bottom, which gives rise to where's Solana going next in terms of its next level of resistance. To get a bit of an understanding, let's take a look at this article from newsbtc.com. We can see that here, Solana price rallied 8% and formed a rounding bottom, what's next? Solana shot up by 8% in the last 24 hours, painting a bullish chart. Over the past week, the altcoin soared almost 17%. Is Solana back? Are we gearing up for a bull run when it comes to Solana? Despite Solana absolutely soaring, we can see it also formed a bullish pattern, thereby giving hope to traders Solana might encounter a rigged resistance at 41 and we're going to explore that as well. What we can see here on the daily without my drawings is that yes, this is creating a rounded bottom and the difference between a rounded bottom and a round uh, and a cup and handle is that there is no decline in the price after we form this rounded bottom. Should it play out, this should be really bullish for Solana. Now, let's jump on to the definition of a rounded bottom for those, or a rounding bottom for those who don't know. Why not share a bit of knowledge? A rounding bottom is a chart pattern used in technical analysis and is identified by a series of price movements that graphically form the shape of a U. Rounding bottoms are formed at the end of an extended downwards trend and signals a reversal in long time long-term price movements. This pattern's time frame can vary from several weeks to several months and is deemed by many traders as a rare occurrence because this could potentially be telling us that Solana is confirming its bottom and people are starting to shift market momentum and sentiment towards altcoins such as Solana. So let's jump onto Solana and do some price analysis right now. We can see, yes, we are forming this rounding bottom on the daily as well, but let's take a look at a few things on the daily. What we have here is we have this nice level of support at about $30 for Solana where we formed this rounded bottom right here. And we are continuing continuing to form the second half of this rounded bottom also. Let's take a quick look at the volume and we can see that volume is mimicking this rounded volume as we have the increased sell-off volume on the lower half of this rounding bottom and then also at the top of this rounding bottom we have an increase in rallying volume in volume that is a confluence with volume so this pattern so far to my eyes is looking very good now always on the daily or also on the daily we're going to have a look at the parabolic SAR and it is painting under the price which is showing that yes there is a sentiment shift and people are on the daily bullish with Solana. So that's the parabolic SAR, I definitely recommend it. If we take a look at the Bollinger Bands, we can actually see a bit of a convergence here and we know that when the Bollinger Bands converge together, it gives rise to some nice breakout action with price action and that's what we're seeing right now and it appears that it is attempting to break up to the upside and retest this crucial level of resistance at around $41 for the Solana price as well. In terms of moving averages, we have plenty to talk about. The 20 period has had this bearish cross it down through as we formed the first half of this rounding bottom. However, the 20 period is starting to shape up and we have a, a candle straight through these two moving averages. This is not a confirmation that yes, these two moving averages, the 50 and the 100, will act as support because the candle has not cleared above it yet. If this candle clears above it on the daily, okay, we can see that now we will have a level of support right here with these two moving averages, the 50 and the 100, 
Also, we have a local level here at around $36 as well. I'm going to talk about that in a local and a more smaller time frame as well. So this is really good news for uh, Solana, especially on the daily as well. Should we bust through this $41 level of resistance? Ideally, I would give rise to some consolidation before we can come up and test out next major level of resistance. And on the daily, ladies and gentlemen, that level of resistance is at around $49. We can see right back here, 8th of May, 2021. We have nice rejections from this price as well. And also here we have it attempting to support the price of Solana before we fell through. And when we did fall through, we attempted to test $49 again. This is a pretty big level right now. As we can see here, we come up, retested it twice here. So $49 is where Solana could potentially be heading next if we are to bust through this level of resistance at $41 on the daily. But let's jump onto the hourly time frame and talk a little bit about what I'm looking at on the hourly. Right now on the hourly, we have Solana in this rising channel. We have it forming resistance at the top of this channel whilst we are finding support at the bottom of this rising channel right now. But again, additionally with this, I want to note that we have a local level of prior resistance and now support. We have flipped this level of local support now at about $36 to about $37. You can see when the price come into this range prior, it bounced from it, acting as support, whereby it acted as resistance and acted as support and resistance here as well. We have further resistance here, further support here. This is a nice local level on the hourly if you are to be trading Solana. Right now, I am potentially waiting for a retest of this lower trend line in conjunction with this local level of support at about $36 to $37 as well. And we have a nice little neat double bottom right here as well. Whether or not we have a clear throwback onto the neckline, we will soon see. But should we have a nice clear throwback and some balls come into control, we could break to the upside of this trend line right here that is acting as resistance right now and see a retest of $41 should market sentiment continue bullish with Solana. One thing I want to mention is the Ichimoku cloud, and this is going to confirm trends for us. And what we can see here is that the cloud is in green and it is continuing to compute a green cloud, meaning leading span A right here is above leading span B in red. What this means is it's potentially telling us that yes, we are going to fall back down or we could fall back down onto this level of support. And this is coinciding with this local level in green right here as well. So the Ichimoku cloud is giving us some nice indications that yes, potentially we may see Solana come back down to this lower trend line and perhaps trend towards this level of crucial resistance at $41. Ideally, what I'm looking for for the Solana price is likely a rejection to this level of support and this lower trend line. The reason for that is if we take a look at the RSI, we can clearly see right now with Solana that it is sort of breaching into that oversold and it can continue even higher. I ideally want to see the Solana price come back on to this level of support right here, coinciding with this trend line because we're way above the 100 period moving average, as you can see when it loads right here, there, we're way above it. So should this 100 period continue up, we will have three confluences for a potential short long, meaning that I could end up entering somewhere around here. I can have a really nice tight stop loss because we know that we have not had various penetrative wicks below this lower trend line of this ascending channel and you could have a nice take profit target you know i'm not going to take the absolute top of this trend line but i'm going to be generous right there that's a risk to reward ratio of 3.71 a loss of 1.87 percent to a potential benefit of 6.96 Ideally on the hourly, that's what I'm looking at only due to the fact that we have a lot of momentum oscillators telling us that yes, we are perhaps overextending and we could have a, a minimal pivotal point to the downside for this lower time frame. Ideally guys, we are keen to see this double or this rounded bottom play out on the daily and if it does, this could be massive for Solana and let's target the next level of big resistance at $49. If you are interested in trading the Solana price or any other crypto for that matter guys, Go ahead, see my referral link for Bybit. You can earn up to $4,550 worth of bonuses. It's simple. Go ahead, see Bybit.com. It's amazing. It's a great exchange. And you can see my referral link below. If you did enjoy this video, guys, go ahead, hit that like, subscribe, tick the notification bell. Leave a comment below. Do you think Solana has the momentum? And is this rounding bottom going to play out? Are we going to break this level of resistance at $41? But until then, I'll see you in the next video.